Well, good morning, everybody. I am going to can some cucumbers. As you can see, I am uh, making some dill pickles. Uh, doing a little experimenting here. Uh, so I can see how these are going to turn out as our cucumbers become more ripe. I'm going to get a lot of cucumbers. And, of course, my main reason for growing them is to be able to can some dill pickles here. So I've got the water at a rolling boil here. And I've got just three jars I'm going to be using. We'll set that down. And I need to get, I'm also, as you can see, boiling the lids. We'll set those uh, right in there for now. Now I get the jars out, empty the water out, and in case I got to grab hold of the jar here. Okay, I'm going to take, I've got some dill. I'm going to take a sprig of dill and kind of shove her down inside there. in the bottom of the jar and that and then I'm going to add a teaspoon or so of some peppers. I want to give it a little bit of a pepper taste into the bottom here and now trying to fill it up with the cucumbers trying to try to get them spaced out so uh, I get more of them in here Kind of get them shoved in there as much as I can. When I've got that done, I've now got the dill in there. I've got the peppers in there. Now I've got to add the brine mixture here which is a combination of uh, vinegar and water and you bring that to a boil now we want to reach down inside and kind of get rid of any bubbles that might be left in there clean the rim off okay and I'm using a salsa jar that I had. <clears throat> and there we kind of go. Get this a little bit better situated. Okay, as you can see. Now the vinegar, because it's apple cider vinegar, is going to give a little color to them. But we're going to put that back in the cooker here. take out one of the pints and I'm like I said I'm experimenting here now we're going to kind of do the same thing here I'm going to take a couple of sprigs of dill put them down in the bottom a 
a little bit of uh, hot peppers here. And now what I've got is slices, dill slices, as you can see here. And I'm going to fill up the jar with dill slices, trying to space them out as much as I can. the jar is full here. When I'm done with that, I'm going to fill her up again with my brine solution. And about an inch from the top or so. again in case there's any air bubbles in there which I'm sure that there are and it's going to kind of be hard because everything wants to pop up towards the surface here now And just snug it down and there I've got a pint jar full of like hamburger slices this will go back in the water and I've got one more to do here if I can find the, the jar there we go and of course in the meantime I leave the heat on there and here's another sprig of dill. Gonna throw it in there. Along well, with some peppers that we grew, the dill we actually grew in our garden. Uh, the peppers, likewise, the same. Get the jar kind of as full as I can get it here. I think that's going to about do it. And I'm going to add what's left of my Just snug her down. There I've got another jar. That's going to go back in. Okay. Now we pretty well got her at a rolling boil. And we're going to time it here for about 15 minutes to rolling boil it, take it out, and we're pretty well done. I got a few extra cukes to make the salad with. Uh, the brine worked out just right. But that'll give you an idea. Like I said, I'm experimenting around with dill pickles. Uh, and the cucumbers are ours. The dill is ours. The peppers, the hot peppers are ours that we grew last year and then actually <laughs> as you can see here uh, dried them out and ground them up and we use it for seasoning in that now but uh, we'll uh, have to see how it's going to go here but uh, 
this will give you an idea I'll give you more as a progression here of how they turn out and there will be a whole lot more canning to come so <laughs> and so you can see my face for the first time here uh, we'll be back again soon with more videos on gardening farming canning and everything that goes along with it everybody have a good day